Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today I'm doing a quick little updated chakra video from when I first started the channel. I had made one. I just wanted to do an updated one um, because in my videos I do a reference a lot to the chakra. Sometimes a chakra card may come out in one of the readings and um, many of you guys who are doing pick a cards and watching tarot readers and things like that you guys are pretty much familiar with them but for some that are newer to you know these esoteric things and law of attraction and spirituality and things like that i like to break it down so that everybody can be on the same page and of course there's a lot of videos you can find on YouTube or Google or wherever, you know, discussing them. But I just try, I just want to give you guys a real quick, brief, concise, very simple um, breakdown of the chakras. And as I state in the videos, a simple way for you to clear them, because sometimes the cards may come up that there may be a blockage there. OK, and then, you know, Sometimes when your energy is a lot is not aligned, these chakras are energy when they're not aligned, they're not benefiting you. You're not able to manifest the things you want because your energy is out of whack. And again, you can Google plenty of different ways on how to um, align your chakras, how to unblock them, you know, how to get them flowing in harmony. You'll find plenty of things just like with anything, you know, you got to do what feels right to you, what you most connect with. Okay, but with this one that I'm going to share with you today, this is something real quick. It doesn't require any extra materials. You can literally do this five minutes a day on the go, privacy of your own home, wherever. Okay, so watch it till the end to get all of them and always refer back to this if you forget. Take notes however you like. Okay, for those of you who have not already, please subscribe to my channel, support the channel. Okay, all your comments and likes really help it so that it can be found by other people as well. And as always, share my channel with family and friends because there may be messages here for them as well. All right, so I thank you for sticking through that intro. We're going to begin. All right, so usually with things, it's usually top down. However, with the chakras, okay, it goes from bottom up. Okay, so usually this is the pose you sit, you know, um, some people reference this as Indian style, crisscross applesauce, you know, however, you sit, that's usually like the yoga pose or the meditation pose. Okay, so this is and it's in the lotus flower here. Okay, so but that's just the general look. But the first chakra here is the root chakra. Okay, it's kind of in the uh, pubic area okay or on the back side it's by the tailbone okay if you look over here it's over here by the tailbone but in the front it's in the area right there with you know by the genitals okay the root chakra is represented by the color red okay it's also called the mylahadra all right and this is in sanskrit so it has you know the other different names to it but all in all it's the root chakra it's the first chakra it's represented by this red color all right and it is for it represents survival security your primal energy okay it, it relates to the earth element governs all elimination the survival instinct and the emotion fear okay it says that it's the earth element this is also called this is the chakra you need to focus on when you need to ground yourself okay when you need to ground yourself is located at the base of the spine okay and it provides the foundation on which we build our life representing safety security and stability some imbalanced attributes will be scattered energies anxiety and fear okay and this is represented by the sound lam l a m okay so to clear this out you would chant lam and you would do that three times all right but then with the other ones that i'm about to share with you you can chant all of them in harmony one after the other and do three rounds of that to always clear them okay but if you just want to focus on the root chakra the first chakra it is lam l-a-m lam 
and you really need to feel the vibration in the back of your throat your lips because that vibration is the vibration you're trans you're transmuting to your body okay so really you know put some bass into it when you're saying it now moving to the second chakra is the sacral chakra and is represented by this orange color okay it's um below the navel all right so it's between the pubic area and the navel so it's right there right below the navel all right and the sacral chakra it governs relationships sexuality intimacy okay there's also this thing called kundalini which if you look here is this you know snake like pattern here uh, kundalini also sometimes refers to the sexual energy okay it refer it relates to the water element governs our sexual instincts the genital systems the urinary systems and the emotion of desire all right the, the sacral second chakra is like i said located below the navel okay so you just imagine that it also represents your creative energies all right so whenever you're needing to feel creative all right whenever you're feeling like you need inspiration and stuff there could be a blockage in your sacral chakra all right some imbalances could be a lack or repressed creativity sexual dysfunction withheld intimacy and emotional isolation okay and this sacral chakra is represented by the sound vam v-a-m vam now the third chakra okay it's right above the navel all right it's represented by the color yellow and this is called the solar plexus chakra it represents desire vitality inner strength self-control okay it corresponds to the element of fire governs the di digestive system the ego impulse and the motion of anger okay so if, if you're angry if you're very angry or have a lot of anger hostility resentment things like that there may be a block you may be blocking your solar plexus okay that energy may be out of whack there all right it helps also with self-esteem pleasure willpower personal responsibility some other um, examples of imbalances will be low self-esteem having control issues manipulative tendencies misuse of power things like that okay so this third chakra the solar plexus chakra represented by the color yellow and the sound associated with it is ram R A M Ram Okay, so when you need to clear that out, that's what you say. Now the fourth chakra, which a lot of people are familiar with is the heart chakra. It's represented by this color green. Okay, this is the standard. It's represented by green, but it can be interchanged with pink. Okay, pink is another uh color that is associated with love and associated with the heart so for those of you that like to work with crystals you know or color elements and things like that if you're if green is not readily available or you feel more drawn to work with pink you can interchange those all right so even though it's the heart chakra it's still represented a little more to the right which is in the center of the chest because we have all of these going in a straight line up and down so even though the heart will be over here the heart chakra is still in the center right to the right of the heart okay and this is the pretty easy one okay it it governs love forgiveness compassion it also has something to do with self-esteem because in the in, in the aspect of self-love okay that or if you don't have self-love self-worth things like that that messes with your confidence your self-esteem so even though the solar plexus deals with self-esteem and ego and things like that the heart chakra can also deal with self-esteem as well okay it is an air element 
it governs the circulatory system, the blood, because we're talking about the heart. The heart pumps out to the body. The, in, in, the individualized soul, the emotion of love, okay? Unconditional love, all right? It has, obviously, with our relationships. When our relationships are out of balance, you can best believe that your heart chakra can be very affected by that, okay? And some imbalances would be Depression, difficulty in relationships, of lack of self-discipline, self-esteem, you know, low self-esteem, low self-value, um, not living in self-love, things like that. And it, the sound associated with it is yam, Y-A-M, yam, okay? Now, the fifth chakra, it's at the throat. Okay, and then you can just imagine what that's for. That's for speaking. Okay, it's represented by this blue color. So it's speech, individualized needs, will. It also can deal with creativity because of what we're talking about. All right, it's the ability to speak and communicate clearly, effectively. All right. It, it governs the respiratory system because this is where the air, the oxygen needs to go through to reach our lungs. Okay, higher intelligence, power of communication. If you have a fear of speaking in public, as you could probably have a blockage of your throat chakra. If you're somebody who needs to speak to the public or speak or you know, have public speeches, hold meetings with my, a lot of people. If you have to do a, rep, a presentation of some sort, you know, or even on here, you know, if you guys are YouTubers or, you know, things like that. And you are having to speak to people. You want to make sure your throat chakra is clear and the energy is aligned to make sure that you can speak as clearly, concisely. And so th that everybody can be receiving your message and understanding what you're trying to put out. Okay, so the throat chakra, this blue, all right, is in, uh, in the center of the neck. Okay, we already said it has to do with the communication. Some imbalances would be shyness, being withdrawn, could even be arrogant, okay, being very sharp tongued, okay, and increased anxiety, all right, but the anxiety in regards to, you know, speaking out speaking your truth, speaking up for yourself, things like that. The sound associated with this is ham, H-A-M. So like ham, but it's pronounced ham. And that's also how it's said, ham. All right, now moving on is the third eye chakra. All right, this is the one that everybody relates to when they're talking about psychic abilities and things like that. All right, it's represented by this indigo color, purple color. And this is where when you, this is one of the instances where we're, whenever you Google something or look up stuff, there's going to be different things. Okay, some will say that the third eye chakra is the color indigo. Some will say it's violet. Some will say it's purple, okay? And then with the crown chakra, the one above our head, the seventh chakra, you find contradicting things too. Some will say it's purple. Some will say it's white. Some will say it's clear. Some will say it's just like a, um, a halo, a glowing light, okay? Some will say that that is indigo. So you just take what applies to you, okay? Before this video, I am going with the third eye chakra is represented by this indigo violet purple color. Okay, so any type of hue like that is what represents the third eye chakra. To me, you take and you you apply it how you want. If another color resonates more, then you go with that. All right, but the third eye chakra is just what it is. It opens your third eye, your psychic abilities is located right between your eyebrows, okay? It is intuition, insight, psychic awareness, okay? The center of command, because if you touch it, you know, it's like right in the front of your brain. It relates to the mind, the individual self, the power of inner perception, insight, 
beyond the five senses. So you can see this as your sixth sense. It's the sixth chakra, so it can be your sixth sense. All right. It's foresight. It's driven by your intuition, openness and imagination. All right. Some imbalances could be lack of direction, lack of clarity, lack of imagination. You know, not being able to daydream, not being able to vi envision something, you know, because it seems too far fetched, not really feeling um, connected. All right. And then intuition um, can be referred to in layman's terms for those that are not really into this stuff or wasn't brought up this way or just starting. You know, when when the average person says, oh, yeah, you know. I, I felt it in my gut or um, it felt like deja vu or I had a feeling that was going to happen. Things like that. That is your intuition. That's, you know, another another term people use. Oh, the little voice in your head. Yeah, that is this third eye chakra. That's this energy center. All right. Because remember, we're all of us are energy. We are all energy. And then it just depends on how we use our energy. Is our energy scattered? Then it's not going to really benefit us because it's not in a line. It's not, you know, aligned to manifest and really to f hone in and focus on what we want it to do. It's all over the place. So if you're practicing the law of attraction and stuff, you really need to make sure your energy is aligned. That is the first thing. If not, you can practice all day and you won't see any effects. You won't see anything. You can be blocking yourself because then your body's not being receptive to blessings and things like that because the energy and stuff is all out of whack. Okay, and this is in regards to healing as well. You know, healing the body, ailments, you know, um, healing a broken heart, you know, trying to change your thinking, trying to, you know, self-improve, all this stuff. You need to make sure your energy is in alignment. OK, but the third eye chakra, regardless of what color you want to use, indigo, violet, purple. All right. It's represented is um, associated with the sound OM, O-M, with the what the monks chant and stuff when they're doing their meditation or all the um, meditations you look online or when the peaceful sounds and it's um. That is what it's associated with. It's helping you open your third eye chakra. So that's what you chant. O-M. Om. And you drag it out. You hum it out from real strong. Om. You want to feel that vibration. Okay. Now, the last one is the crown chakra. Okay. The crown chakra is above your head. So imagine you're wearing a crown. Or imagine like a typical picture of an angel, um, how sometimes you see a halo over their head. This is where the crown chakra will be. OK. And as I stated before, it can be associated with a whole bunch of different colors, but I associate it with the color white. OK. And I um, associate it with the crystal clear quartz. OK. Clear quartz is one of the um, overall uh gemstones that you can use crystals you can use and it is to help you get in touch you know with spirit the divine your connection to source that is what the crown chakra is so i associate it with the color white clear you know just light pretty much but you do what works for you all right so the crown chakra is the seventh chakra it is it represents higher consciousness enlightenment inspiration all right you envision a halo over your head that's right where it will be just an inch or two right above your your scalp okay it corresponds to the universal self the divine reality the power of consciousness it is your source to get in to connect to the divine to connect to source to connect to spirit however you word that as well to connect to god to connect to the energy the universe whatever this is the energy center that allows you to do that okay 
it represents your your higher consciousness your connection all right some imbalances would be cynicism disregarding what is sacred being closed-minded disconnection with spirit not believing non-believers things like that that means that this chakra is closed all right and then for this one this one does not have a sound it's silent okay and others say that om the one that we use for the third eye chakra also works for the crown chakra because they're supposed to be kind of connected they are their own energy source they are their own energy center and they represent two different things but they are connected so you cannot be connected to source you cannot be connected to the higher power without having your third eye open okay and then it's and then kind of vice versa you can't have your um if you're open to your psychic abilities and you're trying to get in tune or trying to channel or things like that, you're trying to, where are you trying to get that information from? You're trying to draw that information from source, from the higher powers, and you are trying to utilize that crown chakra. So that's where these two, you kind of may see some conflicting things. But again, whatever you come across and it resonates with you and makes sense with you, that's what you like, then that's what you stick with. All right. But this is just the gist of it. So all in all we're gonna go through it real quick so when in my videos i tell you make sure you clear out those chakras make sure you get that energy aligned you know have everything flowing in peace and in harmony in your body to to make sure you're open to receiving those blessings this is how you do it okay real simple you can do it anywhere so we're going to start, we're going to clear these together real quick. And then you do this as often as you need to, as many times as you need to. You can focus on just one chakra and that sound, or you can just do them all. All right. So we're going to begin. Lam. Vam. Ram Yam Ham Om Lam Vam Ram Yam Ham Om Lam Vam Ram Yam Ham Om And that's it. You do that three times, so you can go through all of them to get them all lined, all of them clear. All right, so you go through the um, six sounds and about three seconds of silence for the top one, or for those of you that want to say OM for both of them, you can. All right, so then you'll say OM twice or just the once for both. Uh, and if it's just the one that you want, then you would just say that sound three times. Um, in the esoteric field, spirituality three is a power number and they say that there's magic in the power of threes. So usually in, in when we're talking about this spiritual stuff, usually things are done in, in threes. Okay, so that, that's why the, um, doing it three times, three rounds is significant. All right, so I hope this helped. I hope you use it. All right, like I said, 
doing it takes less than than five minutes okay i went through each of the chakras just to kind of break it down for you guys so you can understand a little more in depth but all in all come back to this video jot it down so you can remember okay screenshot this real quick however you like all right so until next time many blessings